Hello student, I am Professor Devashish Bose, Head Department of Criminology and Forensic Science, Dr. Harising Gaur Vishwavidyalaya, Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. Today I am going to present a lecture of BSc first semester on the unit Introduction to Forensic Science and on the topic Police Academies and Police Docs, which has been jointly prepared by myself and Ms. Priyanka Pahare, a PhD scholar and a UGC JRF at Department of Criminology and Forensic Science, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwavidyalaya, Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. So let's start our discussion while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Today, in Module 1 will be our introduction. Module 2 will be setup of police academies. Module 3 will be police academies all over India. Module 4 will be breeds of police dog. Module 5 will be dedicated to function of police academies and police docs. Finally, Module 6 will be our conclusion. My dear student, today we are going to learn about police academies and I think most of us are fascinated by the police uniform and want to join police. And also the police dog, how fascinating, how beautiful these dogs are. In this interesting lecture, I will be telling you about best police training academies and institutions in India. And also, we will deal about police dog training. Police is the civil force of the state responsible for the prevention and detection of crime and the maintenance of public order. Police Academy is a training school for new police recruits, also known as a law enforcement academy. Before the candidates are recruited to their respective duties, they need an additional training program for the honorable post of Indian Police Service, IPS. The police academies provide training to new police recruits and they have various background checks like subject examination physical requirements, medical requirements, legal training, driving skills, equipment training and firearm training. So you should be all prepared about this. This training prepares the new police recruit for the police force they will be assigned to when they are a graduate. In India, there are many police training institutes and academy across each and every state. They provide both basic as well as in-service training courses. In all academies and the institutes, the National Police Academy, NPA, Hyderabad, also known as Sardar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy, is stands on the top of the hierarchy. This police academy trains officers of the Indian Police Service who have been selected through the All India Civil Services Examination. All of the graduates wants to aspire for this uh, training. Some police training institutes or police academies have collaboration with the universities where they exchange their knowledge. Maharaja Ranjit Singh Punjab Police Academy in Fillore is one of them. This academy have collaboration with Guru Nanak Dev University Amritsar and started imparting the teaching of MA, MPhil and PhD degree programs in disciplines of police administration. My dear student, this is all about the police academy. Now we move on to the police dogs. So you all have seen dogs. Some people use them for security of their house, some as a pet and some use dog for hunting purposes. And obviously you have seen some stray dogs which are wandering in your street. There are different breeds and varieties of dog according to their work. Police dog and its handler, also called the canine unit, which is commonly canines. Canines have been used for security and hunting by humans since Roman time and were introduced in modern law enforcement well over a hundred years ago. It has a long history. It is probable that dogs have been used in England to capture or track criminals for many decades, perhaps longer than other countries. The dog has special sense and owing to its ability to track by disturbance and smell, such quality of police dog assists police person in tracing criminal, dead bodies, hidden objects and narcotics. Training of dog is very important but 
the handler should be equally well trained so that he can guide and direct his dog at the scene of crime upon useful line where criminal passed there are many dog training academies but the success of the dog mostly depends upon its handler who guides and control it in almost every moment while the investigating officer exam crime scene in detail but the dog handler should be responsible for thoroughly searching the surrounding area of crime scene the use of police dog in police work has been adopted by almost all the modern police forces of the world the first police dog appeared in india it's before independence area in the northwest frontier province now in pakistan as early as in the year 1941 madras raised a kennel in 1951 to be followed by bihar in the year 1955 Since then dogs are been used by other states and other police paramilitary forces with this we come to the end of introduction setup of police academies different academies have different organizational setup We will discuss here common organizational structure or setup of all police academies in India. Following is an organizational setup of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel National Police Academy, Hyderabad. And now move on to next module, module three, police academies in India. There are different police academies in India but we will discuss the best out of them so let's start our discussion with the first police academy of India that is Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel National Police Academy Hyderabad my dear student as you all know that this academy was set up on the 15th day of September in the year 1948 it was named after India's very respected and honorable deputy prime minister Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel because of his contribution in establishing all india services training institute and the all india services itself this institute provides excellent training to the candidates of indian police service ips who are selected through civil indian civil service examination conducted by upsc police training college delhi formerly it was set up as a police training school in the year 1968 in delhi After this this school was upgraded to the level of police training college PTC in the year 1998 to take training different police personnel come here they are generally assistant commissioners of police sub inspectors assistant sub inspectors and other officials from various regional and foreign countries police training college dergaon It is the beginning the college was established in the year 1948 at Saloni Bari a place near the northern bank of Brahmaputra river and this college was shifted from Saloni Bari to Dergao on 1st April 1949 this well furnished institute trains IPS practitioners of joint cadre of Assam and Meghalaya This institute also provides the basic training of directly recruited Assam Police Service officers, sub inspectors, assistant sub inspectors and women constables. It also has a horse riding school and a motor driving and maintenance training school. Karnatak Police Academy Mysore. In the beginning, this was set up as a training school in Bangalore in the year 1892 for sub inspectors. and the then jamadars that time the batch consisted of 61 trainees after that in the year 1913 police training school was opened at bangalore with the wing to train all the recruits in the rank of constables from january 1915 this premier police training institute organizes basic courses for the new candidate chosen for the post of or selected for the post of sub inspectors of police and deputy superintendent along with assistant sub inspectors of police maharashtra police academy nasik 
the Maharashtra Police Academy was initiated as a police training school at Pune in the year 1906. After that, it was shifted to its present location at Nasik in the year 1908. The police training school was redesignated as Police Training College in the year 1961 after the formation of Maharashtra State. This was promoted from PTC to an academy in the year 1990, renaming it as Maharashtra Police Academy. This reputed institute stands out for providing excellent training course to Maharashtra's deputy superintendents and sub-inspectors of police. The Maharaja Ranjit Singh Punjab Police Academy. This police training school was established in the Fillor Fort by a home department in the year 1891. The Punjab became the first state in the country to establish such a school. It provides the training facilities of not only Punjab but also for as many as 12 other Indian states and union territory as well as central police organization. This is the first police training academy in the country, which is in collaboration with Guru Nanak Dev University Amritsar, started impairing the teaching of MA, MPhil and PhD degree programs in the discipline of police administration, a feature which has been appreciated at national and international level. With this, we come to the end of module 3. Now we move on to module 4 that is police dogs. All police dogs must be first become expert at basic training. The dog should have to obey the commands of their handler without hesitation. There are over 100 or more species and breeds of dogs in the world. So let us look at the best police dog breeds that were almost born to the force. German Shepherd this dog is number one on the list of the 10 best police dog breeds. It can be considered at the boss in its personality. You will be wondering because apart from the human being, dogs also have personalities as they are able to interact with us just as our friends and family members. Polish German Shepherd dog trained particularly for search and rescue purpose, the more rural settlements. It was trained for high waters. The dogs will not stop until it found the things for trained and developed. Rottweiler Rottweiler were among the earliest police dogs and served with honor in the military. The dog is especially known for being the most dangerous in temperament and aggressive in their action and can raise from the ground at which you stand on. It is one of the bravest warrior dogs out of there and is counted among the best police breed. German Short-Haired Pointer As the name implies that it is a very short dog and are shortly known against as GSPs. The German Short-Haired Pointer is among the best police dog breeds. Many police agencies recommended and considered this breed for the police force. In earlier times, the dog was used for hunting purpose in Germany. The dog is suitable for land and water both. Bloodhound This is a dog with large hung ears, unique in appearance from the rest of the dogs and is often ranked as one of the best police dog breed. This is definitely one dog that stands firm and straight to the command of its trainer or instructor. This have a large sense hound so it is able to hunt bigger things than just birds, things like deer and wild boars. Bloodhound in the case is an appropriate name to call it. The dog have ability to discern human sin over the large distance even days later. Next is Boxer Dog. This dog was developed in Germany. As its name implies, this dog is a more fighter dog and among the best Polish dog breeds. Boxer dogs are large enough and strong enough that they can take down a perpetrator if needed 
and are smart so they can be taught a variety of different skills which can help the police with their work. This is a flexible dog and can be used for several aspects in police training. Labrador Retriever Commonly, this breed of dog would serve as a super cute pet. Labrador in the police database used to sniff out bombs, drug detection and other main reasons as to why police have dogs in their unit to assist them more especially to be the eyes and ears that goes farther than the human senses and capability. Giant Schwarzenegger Giant as the name suggests, the dogs are able to frighten the criminals. Due to its large appearance of these dogs, they definitely would make a statement in which every police force that breeds and trains them. The giant Schwarzenegger is trained for obedience, dog agility, herding, search and rescue for police work. Doberman This dog is lighter in weight but faster in speed. This is a reason that the dog is ranked among the best police dog breeds in the planet. This would be regarded as a great advantage to police officers that expect the dog to chase, hunt down and actually catch their criminals. So I think it was very interesting and you know most of the drugs arise from the German country. With this we move on to our new module, module 6. Function of Police Academies and Police Dogs There is no exact evidence that when human domesticated dogs, but dogs and people have been worked side by side for thousands of years. In modern time, different type of training methods make them as an integral part of many people's life, not just as friend, but as a guide, dog search and rescue dog, and bomb and drug sniffing dogs. But few dogs can fit themselves as police dogs. Some works of the police dogs or canines are as follows. Functions of police academy and police dogs. There is no exact evidence that when human domesticated dogs, but dogs and people have been working side by side since long. In modern times, different type of dog training methods make them as an integral part of people's life. Not just as a friend, but also as a guide, dog starts are used for search and rescue purposes, bomb and sniffing dogs, etc. But few dogs can fit themselves as police dogs. Some works of the police dogs are in the unit of K9. Now we move on to functions of police academies. The academies provide basic courses to the new recruit of police as well as give training to the police officers which are already holding some post in the police. The main function of the police academies are as follows. The Sardar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy Hyderabad organizes training courses for the trainers of various police training institutes in the country. These academies and institutions organize courses for state police service officers. The major police training academy provide training courses for the head of police training institutes and officers who manage training function at their respective states. They have conducted courses of Right to Information Act, Anti-Corruption Strategies and National Security and on Cyber Crimes for the IAS, IPS and IFS or CPOs and different officers. Apart from giving training to new recruits of police, these academies also provide training to personnel related to criminal justice system. Inter-segment coordination for the police officers of the rank of SPs and above. Session judges, correctional service officer and public prosecutors. The National Police Academy organizes short specialized thematic courses, seminars and workshop of professional subjects for all level of police officers. Police academies provide physical training to new police recruits for serving their duties in their jurisdiction. These organizations have to teach police officers patrolling and criminal investigation procedures 
arrest, control techniques, etc. Police academies all over India provide training to new police recruiters handling of firearms and their operation. The new officers also take training of rescue operation, disaster management, fire management, etc. Functioning of police dogs Obedience Dear student, all you have to know that dogs which are special senses which are different from humans. All canines or police dogs are trained to a high level of obedience. They have to follow both verbal and hand commands of their handler. Locating tools. These police dogs are trained for a variety of tasks. The first and foremost, they are locating tools. They are primarily used to locate evidence and people using their superior sense. German Shepherd has the ability to detect order thousand of times better than human. Because of this advantage, it can save valuable time and resources by locating evidence much quicker than we can. Wildlife Detection In recent time, illegal trading of wildlife has been increased worldwide due to its highest market value, medicinal purpose and many other things. Although the hunting of animals have been in traditional form in ancient time, game violators take wildlife in close session illegally from roadways and by other trained illegal means. To assist in the apprehension of game violators, police dogs are trained to detect a variety of wildlife species such as lion, tiger, black bear, bear, nilgai, swamp deer, etc. Wildlife detection can be performed at camps and outbuildings. Wildlife detection can be performed at camps and outbuildings, open lands, barren lands and vehicle locating illegally taken game that has been hidden. Spent shell and firearm detection. The human have no such kind of sense organ that can detect firearms, fired cartridges of hidden firearms by smell. But dogs have this type of ability. Canines are specially trained to locate fired cartridge case of firearm and firearms that have been hidden in a field. The location of fired cartridge cases are useful in the investigation of hunting related shooting and many other offenses. Locating a fired cartridges case may determine the point of firearm discharge and allow the blank cartridge case to be scientifically matched to a firearm. Tracking The main work of the police drug which is common among police force is that they are used to track human scent. This is very common and are frequently used in the traditional way to track persons, escaping officers, lost and missing people and investigating suspicious activities of people after that they have left the area. The dogs utilize the scent left by a person and vegetation order to track them. Criminal apprehension in recent time, government is most careful about the conservation of environment. For this purpose, government appointed forest officers. Duties of forest officer is recognized as one of the most dangerous law enforcement professions as they have to live in the forest or in wild. Because of their nature of duties, canines or police dogs are trained to protect their handlers, fellow officers and the public from harm. With this, we come to the end of Module 5. At the end of this interesting and knowledgeable lecture, I am going to summarize that this lecture was based on the fact that most of the forensic students are not aware about the work and functioning of police academies and police doc. I hope that you all have acquired and added new knowledge in your memory and remember to memorize all these things as most of you must be aspiring to become a police officer. You have learned about the top police academies in India which gives training to new police recruiters and various police officers time to time. We have also discussed about the best dog breeds used by the police force. 
My dear students, you all know about the police training institutes and academies in India. Out of all of them, Sardar Vallabhai Patel National Police Academy Hyderabad is the leading academy which provides training to new IPS officers as well as others officer. With all these important information here, we come to the end of today's informative lecture. Do keep in mind what we have discussed today. It's time for you all to do some self-study. This is Professor Devashish Bose signing off for today. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQs, quizzes and LORs at www.cec.nic.in. Till then, goodbye and thank you for hearing me.